Mark this place. Know where it lies. 55.04 degrees north, 6.93 degrees west. Townlands with names as ancient as the land nestle here. Rough Brady Beg, the little fort of St Bridget. Rough Brady Moor, the great fort of St Bridget. Coulesson, the nook of the little fort. Killane, broad wood. Bovalley, the townland of cows. Enoch, or marsh. This is a place of families and communities, of mountains and green fields. Sunshine warms the rich, nurturing soil. It's where we grow. Sided Benevena lies close by. Part of the Keenox Hills, it marks the western edge of the Antrim Plateau. Here, the town and nearby farms are held in the lush green of the valley, fed by the glistening River Row. Beyond lies the McGilligan Peninsula, with Loch Foyle, Inishone, and the west coast of Scotland lying a silent, distant blue. In the midst of this stands O'Cachan's Rock, a dark reminder of turbulent times. And a dog. There's a dog? Oh, there's always a dog. Centuries ago, at Mullock Hill, St Columba presided over a meeting of the kings. Later, the land would become a battleground, as soil grew dark with the blood of Vikings and then Norsemen. Kingdoms on this island were ruled by families, and here the O'Cachan clan held sway. Their castle, now long gone, remains only as a ghost of stone but it was once a mighty stronghold, built on a rocky outcrop, a high, steep bank dropping towards the valley and the river row. The Okachans fought battles here, endured sieges, flourished a century or more. How was it then? Just imagine. Morning at the castle, floor rushes being changed, stables busy, food being prepared. 
the business of the day. Then, a sound from beyond. Heavy horses, voices, a foreign tongue. Their eyes wide, the castle folk stand still. And the dog? Yes, the dog. In a corner of the castle, the animal raises its great head. A tale still known tells of how this faithful dog carried in his mouth a precious piece of parchment. A call for help as it leapt from O'Caffin's rock across the road. Clothed in tunics of silvered links that glow in the morning sun, they come. Faces concealed by chain mail and bars of iron, they come. Shields long and broad with flashing bronze, they come. Archers and infantry march and then the mounted knights ride in. There are shouts now, war cries, rough voices rise. The Normans have arrived. Of a dog is a memory, a phrase, an action. The dog approaches at a canter, a gallop, front feet planted, one slightly ahead of the other at the takeoff spot. Now its head lowers, front leg joints bend, front assembly muscles load, and the spine flexes. Rear legs come forward, shoulders open, pushing the front end up. The dog's great head lifts, aiding the upward thrust. Rear leg joints extend, driving the dog on. As it rises, its tail goes down. And at the apex of its leap, the dog lowers its head. Its tail goes up, body rotating forwards, downwards. Outstretched front legs, shouldered and extended, hit the ground. One leg slightly before the other. Its great head rises. Once again, the spine flexes, rear legs drawn forward beneath the body absorb the impact of landing. The forward movement continues, the dog leaps, runs on, oh the running dog! songs that tell of battles, acts of bravery and fierce resolve, but it's a brokenness that follows. Buildings are damaged, moments shattered, lives are lost. People gather strength, seek each other once again, protect the area, reclaim their livelihoods, find their own space once more. History races through decades in a sentence, while generations live each changing moment, day by day. The castle is gone now. Only these words hold it here. On the ridge by the water, the memory of a dog stands still. Its head a halo of darkness against golden evening light. It races forward and arcs into the air, leaping up again, again, again. In Leimawadi, 
still the river flows. Now, within the shadow of centuries gone by, the story of this leaping dog still burns bright and clear. It lifts us, inspires us, draws us on. Bound by our craft, we race forward, lift and rise, taking our own leap into the blue. For we are carried by a story that inspires us still. Benevena, the river and the leaping dog.